SwaziMed member app. We encourage our members to download and register on the SwaziMed member app and enjoy all the services at the tips of your hands. Members can view accounts, statements, benefits, and update their personal details and many more. To register, go to swazimed.com or download the SwaziMed member app on Play Store or Apple Store. Click on Login as a member, enter your SwaziMed membership number, create and enter your password, then confirm password. Enter your cell phone number or email that is already registered with SwaziMed system. SwaziMed, dependable, affordable healthcare cover. life milk for only 86.99 wow and spa macaroni or spaghetti any two for 25 emelangeni what it's the spa products best filler sale only at spa at spa we've worked hard to get you low prices on great products every day like Nescafe Classic Coffee for only $74.99 and 2-litre liquid fruit for just $35.99. It's low prices for you every day at Spa. Good evening, dear viewers, and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by number one news provider, Eswatini TV. I am Nandumiso Vilagata, alongside Zaman Zimanze, and here are your top stories. Their Royal Highness of Zamanzinyani led young maidens who formed the Galangolo Jenny Regiment in cutting the reed at Manzana Reed Bed. Private sector owners say if paid on time, they could improve their service delivery to farmers. Ghanaian legend Asamoa Gianni has arrived in the country alongside other African legends to take part in a friendly game between Aswatini legends and African legends. The news. Their Royal Highness Asamoa led young maidens from the Ga who formed the Galangolo Jenny Regiment in the cutting of the reed at Manzana Reed Bed. The maiden set out Lulaleni Royal Residence and marched to the reed cutting site, where they successfully cut the reed and returned back to their Royal Residence with it. Meanwhile, regiments who cut the reed at Piss Farm and Pamsake have returned to Lutzitzini Royal Residence. Their Royal Highnesses Emma Zinyane led the special regiment of young maidens who walked from Lulaleni Royal Residence and all the way to Manzana Reed Bed, where they cut the reed. This is a regiment of young girls aged between 3 to 11 years, and their regiment was designed to help them learn the basics of the reed dance ceremony before they joined the main regiment. The parents of the young girls were beaming with excitement as their children set off on a sacred journey of culture and tradition. Some of the parents could not resist the urge to accompany and encourage their offspring along the way. We spoke to Umlange Nilumbuso Lamini, who unpacked the purpose of the regiment. Lil Butfolenil Bonago, Lapa Lomosa, Libutfo, Lagalangolo, Cheni, 
langolo tsheni lo samkhanza nathi lo kusimile nje nesibona nathi sivutwe khona nabo anti wetfu impela itolo sibakhanze nabo bavutwe khona ngalo linyawo lembali eh lana bonkosi imbali lebakhona isukela eminyakeni lengimthathu kuya ko 11 years eh beta engosini ngelicabho lelikhulu ngoba bathanza inkosi yabo bathanza le le le, le culture nathi ke bonkosi singene sakusekela kakhulu ngekuba sithanza kakhulu nathi i culture yethu sibanifana basekhaya singemaswadi ngalo kuphelele inkosi sesithi ke nathi asitithathe sitifake ekhadze tinyawo nitala abantwana sibe part of them ngekuthi si lenjabulo yabo ibe injabulo yethu ezibaqhubeka abenda lo msebenti wenkosi lo muhle kangaka siyathemba nje ukuthi naseminyakeni ngoba sibonyene la sihlale khona sacala ke tinombolo letincane nasicala siyilandzelela namuhla sesikhuluma ke tinombolo letingetulu kwabo 1000 wabantwana labetako kulo kulelibandla laka lelibutho laka langolo tsheni uyasithokotisa kakhulu lokho ngoba kusho ukuthi eh le 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 culture iyangena kakhulu lisiko liyangena ke lamanifana wenfom batana kakhulu ngoba beta vele ngensakaso nangelithandvo leliphelele the presence and active participation of their royal highnesses encouraged the maidens to defy the odds and march all the way to the cutting site where they eventually cut the reed the ingosatana of the regiment her royal highness princess lomapega told us about some of the virtues that the maidens have acquired. The mission was accomplished with merit as the regiment managed to return to Lulaleni with the reed. Meanwhile, the older maidens who were commissioned to Mpisi Farm and Pamusake have returned back at Lutsitsini Royal Residence with the raid. The maidens will take a much-deserved break on Saturday and they will deliver the raid and dance before their majesties on Sunday. On Monday, the nations of the world will join their majesties and the nation on the main day of the raid dance ceremony for the year 2022. At which it's in the Royal Dress for Swatini TV News, I'm Sandy Lemakanya at Lobamba. The Ministry of Home Affairs wishes to remind the nation that Tumtlanga holidays on the 5th of September 2022, as announced by the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs, Her Royal Highness Princess Lindiwe. Tuesday, 6 September 2022 is Independence Day, and Wednesday, 7 September 2022 is a normal working day. Statement by Ministerial Communications Officer Mlanvo Lamini. On another note, the Ministry of Home Affairs wishes to state that the following regarding the Gazette that has declared Mr. Kelimpilo Shabeyake Stelom Gomezulu undesirable and a prohibited immigrant in the Kingdom of Eswatini. According to reports, Mr. Mgomezulu called a meeting where he told those in attendance not to attend Umhlanga. Furthermore, it must be noted that his call to boycott Umhlanga was a direct call to disregard a call made by the country's authorities, thus acted adversely to national interest. And this was the violation of the Public Order Act 2017, in particular Section 15, Subsection 3B. Consequently, this led to the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs to evoke Section 3 of the Immigration Act of 1982. The Ministry wishes to further state that Mr. Mgome Zulu is not a legal representative of the incarcerated members of Parliament because he has no rights of audience in the courts of the Kingdom of Eswatini. Henceforth, the decision to declare him undesirable will not affect the ongoing case at the High Court. The statement is by the Ministerial Communications Officer Mlanvo Lamini. The British High Commissioner to Eswatini, Simon Boyden, has says Her Majesty the Queen Mother Elizabeth II impacted many countries in different ways during her reign. Boyden was speaking in his residence at Ezulwini when commemorating Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. 
The British High Commission commemorated the Platinum Jubilee for Her Majesty the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who celebrates the 70th anniversary of accession to the throne since the 6th of February 1952. 2022 Commonwealth of Nations celebrated the Platinum Jubilee. Speaking at Zulwini at the High Commissioner's residence, the High Commissioner of Britain to Swatini Simon Boyden says over the years Her Majesty has made good relations with many countries. The Baton visited 72 nations and territories reaching Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, the Caribbean and the Americas. I think that only missed out Antarctica. Other significant moments, and I I insist on mentioning this, even though, of course, I am the British High Commissioner. I happen to be English. But other significant events this year was the UEFA Women's Euro. The test continues at the Rugby League World Cup, being hosted in October, and, of course, at the Rugby World Cup Sevens, which I'm going to in Cape Town in a week's time. But as I said, we're not just celebrating longevity, but a lifetime of duty and service. And the world has changed a great deal since 1952. And it's perhaps immodest of me to say this, but I'd like to claim that the UK has at times been at the forefront of those changes. The medal in honour of Her Majesty allows Her Majesty's commitment to service and loyalty to the world. Seven recipients were given the Platinum Jubilee Medal to celebrate Her Majesty's 70th anniversary on the throne. The Queen was only 25 years of age when she ascended to the throne in 1952. Reporting for Swatini TV News, I'm MCB with Timbingos Mavimbela in Temba Shabangu, Ezulwini. Private tractor owners say if paid on time, they could improve their service delivery to farmers. The Minister of Agriculture had a meeting with private tractor owners to discuss the working strategy for the farming season. As the summer season, which is ploughing season, is around the corner, the Minister of Agriculture has met with private tractor owners in preparation for the ploughing season as part of its subsidy program through the National Maize Corporation. In the meeting that took place at Malkens, some issues being addressed was the payment of the private tractor owners by government, which they say they are not paid on time. Mtobi Sidlamini, the chief operations officer who represented the principal secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, says the tractor owners need to qualify and meet certain standards before rendering their services, and their tractors must be in good condition. <laughs> Emnyani nopeli le aba metul wa thirty thousand. Osho kuto ulmende wa patali malenge tul wa twelve million emalenge. Gushege logo ngoba lenye pele inslo so ya ulmende. Ngetu mumva na kelo NMC. Gusi umno travel no kule apinzi ne misebendi itola gale event. The minister says government paid over twelve million emalenge ni last year. Veli shonge from Pondo constituency spoke on behalf of the tractor owners. In another twenty one days, the spatarega ngai we can't be so bad. We can't be so pele. He says government sometimes fails to honor the 21-day payment, which is costly for them as they find themselves working with limited funds. There were some hours that were left over, which the farmers hope will be considered first this year. Reporting IMK and MCB, visuals from the Minister of Agriculture. The Swazi Empowerment Limited Company has presented a check amounting to 600,000 Malangani to seven non governmental organizations in Eswatini. According to the chairperson of the SEL, Jetro Ndlanga Mandla, the funds are meant to help in empowering young people and develop the education sector, among other sectors. Ndlanga Mandla was speaking during a check handover occasion held in Babane. The Swazi Empowerment Limited has donated a sum of 600,000 Malangeni to help organizations that are working with government in improving the health, education, youth, infrastructure sectors. According to the SEL, Chairperson Jetro and Langamanda, these funds will help in creating job opportunities for the youth. We have a sum of about oh, exactly 600,000 that will go to distribute today and donate to the organizations that we've uh, identified and um, today we have 
Young Heroes and Young Heroes, we are going to donate 170,000 to them. Eswatini Breast and Cervix Cancer, ESL is donating 170,000 to them today. The representative of the beneficiaries, Kulegani Makongo, from Young Heroes Organization, says the country is faced with the issue of youth unemployment that needs to be addressed. Banyendi, banwana be maswati, laba funzile manuves, bakpet, gepa bede imisabendi. Umas buga gootwa, ema business. Kuna ma skills la tete la watse ngako. La manye solo sisa walanza nga pande weli vele gangwane. The youth beneficiary representative Weli Lenyoni says Young Heroes Organization was able to assist her with welding training. She says that the organization supported her until she was employed. For the internship, Gapani na ya 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 se euro engineering de esestek ruma internship period so umpas wabona wusige ni ati mese la kuzi wenga singe tuani de intern desbanyeli but singa bana de nchla nchla wusimi ni es imbombata na kuzi bafa na besim five mambo mata na besim four but simi ni es imbombata na bako na uspang sa seven kaiche Organizations that benefited include Young Heroes, Eswatini Breast and Cervical Cancer Network, Ezulini Community School, the Rotary Club Mbabani, Yibute Green Action, Guluni Community Based Vocational Training, and Mawelawela Correctional Center. For Eswatini TV News on Domlang in Mbonga Tube, Mbabani. The executive director for our course cut, George Ombado, says when institutions are not well run, they struggle to implement or meet the needs of their members. Ombado was speaking during the last day of the SACA 2022 Congress at Swatini. The main focus of the annual Savings and Credit Cooperative Associations Congress is effectively stimulating growth and development of cooperative financial institutions to catalyze grassroots socio-economic development. The executive director for the Akoska, George Ombadon, says one of the key issues they are faced with in this sector is cybersecurity and less participation of the youth. And it is our tech as a 2022 SACA Congress to find a way or bearing where the circles can contribute towards uh, reducing the gender disparity in reducing youth uh, disparity is seeing that the resources within the financial cooperatives are well secure. It is for that reason that as a COSCA we'll continuously engage. Yeah, we, we've developed a couple of strategies around this. One is to build uh, a stronger technical team, improve the leadership, uh, because more often than not, when the institutions are not well run, then you'll find they'll struggle to implement or to meet the needs of the members. The chief executive officer for one of the participating organizations, Impumelelo Savings and Credit Cooperative, Tabilen Zulim, says they have learned about how they can improve the lives of their members. We're able to learn more or sharpen our skills on leadership skills, financial literacy, uh, leadership, and the advocacy. There were so many sessions that we attended to that will be of good help to our members. So most of our, um, the sessions that we attended were good to assist our members how best can they improve their self, how best they can improve even uh, their communities. 600 members of cooperative financial institutions were in attendance. These members were from 23 different countries across the globe. Voice of the TV News, I'm Tandugu Shem Zuli, with Temba Shabangu, Matapam. Swaka has donated food hampers to vendors who are affected by unrest. Speaking during the presentation of Food Hampers, Swaga Director Nunchan Lamini says the food items are worth 64,000 Malangeni. Lamini says the assistance is from Friends of the Kingdom. Emaswat, who were affected by the unrest last year, received food hampers from Eswatini Action Group Against Abuse Organization. The SWAGA director, Nunchanjamini, says the organization was able to secure funds to assist the beneficiaries. 
Kombisa, Bushung Bed for Nagula, wait for Satsiga, Sia Kela, et Ninten Kosuki Fanagube, Kona Lugnani, Banfula Bagu, Tola, Gona Sia Tuguzi, Angege, who figure Escaben the seats, a good fanjo, good out corner, good punga, the so same. Nalo Gutsin and any Tibonet and a good Sintiville, a good sim, who corner Banfula Baganyanani, who look to the Nabo. So Gage, Sibonega, which is for the little Toba. Legoguti, Sini, Pegelog, Lendago, Lendago, Pola, and Amorta. See, Tembe Guts Nalabany and Abobata, Kubegaba, Fagetan, the son of Tinje, Lapa Emanda, Akonagut, Afigela Kona. Beneficiaries representative commended Suaka for the food items, mentioning that it will go a long way. Catabesalati, Babet, Vesivulega, cool, Nescala, Zusnafana, Nigabet. Tikalo tola bese tiko na titi nenga kulo na gimi jena be a ben ben felenge kati kubasfana nisband iso na bese sko na singe kusiano. The food items consist of rice, mealy meal, sugar, beans, cooking oil among other food items. For iswatini TV news sondom langi ni mbonga tube manzini. Travers held an occupational therapist from the U.S. is in the kingdom to share knowledge with parents of autistic children on how to assist them and identify signs of autism at an early age, including speech therapy. He says a therapy must not be limited to hospitals but homesteads as well. Travis held an occupational therapist from the United States of America is in the kingdom to educate mothers of autistic children on therapy for children how to identify autism at an early age as well as speech therapy. Travis says he's impressed with how Autism Swatini as an organization has promoted knowledge on autism. I've come to share with the parents my, my dream is to bring the occupational therapy model to Eswatini and to inform the parents on how important it is that at an early age we um, support them so they know how to work with their kids um, during their everyday life. The director of Autism Eswatini Trifinam Vubu says parents need to be taught on therapy for their children. We are now taking therapy to their home because currently the clinical model only says the child is with a therapist only for 30 minutes, maybe once a month, where we have seen in the country that since for now we have um, very few th therapists and few hospitals that are able to help us. More, the rest of the country is not coming up to come and get therapy. So in most cases when we, we, we identify or when they do go to the hospital, maybe because something major has happened to the child, the child is already too old to be effectively assisted um, for better outcomes in the condition. The parents who were in attendance says they encountered some challenges in raising their children, thus they gained a lot of knowledge from Travis. speech. <laughs> abanye abakhoni kuhamba so ukuba lukhuni lokuphilana nabo ngalo ungede wathi ukuthi umfana ufunane abanye lo sodawo khandza ukuthi umtali noma ngabe akaveli uya khona ukuthi asitakale ekhaya ngoba abantu bese bamfakashela emakhaya so le model lesejendiswa ng Dr Trevor iyasita kakhulu autistic children must not be hidden from members of the public or deprived of education because of their condition. Reporting for Swatini TV News, I'm Kian MCB with Vuminko Sinzinisa Manzini. The Ministry of Home Affairs notifies the public that Mbabane headquarters is currently experiencing network challenges since late yesterday. Preliminary investigations have shown that one of the fiber lines is broken. However, technicians are on site attending to the issue and the nation will be notified once the line is fixed and operations resumed. The public is advised to use alternative service centers such as Lubamba in Kundla for urgent applications. Any inconvenience caused is deeply regretted statement by Ministerial Communications Officer Mlanvo Lamini. The executive director for junior achievement, Petsile Masilela, is urging companies to prioritize giving students an opportunity for job shadowing this coming festivities as a way of keeping them away from engaging in ill practices. Masilela was speaking during a certification ceremony for students who were participating in the JA job shadow program. In 2006, Junior Achievement initiated the JA Job Shadow Program, where students in Form 4 are afforded an opportunity to work in various companies for a week. 
The aim is to give the students a feel of their future careers. The executive director for JA Petsile Masilela says 80 students were participating in this program. These students were attached in companies namely FinCorp, Standard Bank, to name only a few. What we would like to urge us all as a nation is, um, can we please plan to take some students into our companies in December? I know that everyone wants to be on holiday in December, but we have a crisis and it's not a normal time in our lives. We have a crisis to deal with. We have that crisis of teenage pregnancy that we need to address as a country. So can we please all plan to take uh, students? We spoke to some of the participating students to find out what they have learned. It was very eye-opening. I learned how to be a credit officer, a financial officer, and how to apply for loans and how to interact with customers. And um, I realized that it helped me in university how to apply my communication skills to be an accountant or even try to be a credit officer, which is something I learned in the last two days. From the communication and press release, um, I think the communication it don't see that to go after my dream of being a broadcaster. And as we know, a broadcaster, it requires one to be able to communicate with other people. The managing director for FinCorp, Domsanim Sibim, says it is important that companies contribute in mentoring students and not only wait to employ groomed professionals. Voice what in TV News, I'm Tando Gutlem Zoli with Temba Shabangu, Babane. Now take a look at our financial updates. Standard Bank, it can be. Welcome back. You're still watching in Swatini TV and for sports news tonight. Kenyan legend Asamoah Gianni has arrived in the country alongside other African legends to take part in the friendly game between Eswatini legends and African legends. The game will take place at the Mavuso Sports Centre on Saturday afternoon. When African Tourism Board launched the African Legends vs Eswatini Legends game about two months ago, they emphasised on bringing in top African legends to take part in the Legends game. African legend, Canadian Asamoah Gyan is already in the country for only the second time since 2010 when he was part of the Ghana national team that defeated Slango 3 0. Gian says he is very excited to be back in the kingdom. Oh, it's a great event. You know, um, I'm happy to be part of it. And um, honestly, this is my third time of coming to Swaziland. You know. um, the first two I came to play. You know, and, uh, now I'm coming for a special event. You know, so. I'm happy to be part. The dance, you know, I've been hearing the real dance, you know, so uh, I'm just waiting to see how everything goes. Although I've been seeing it on the internet, but I've been seeing it on, uh, like in person, you know, so I'm here to, to witness everything. And I'm very happy to be here, honestly. The game will take place at the Mavuso Sports Centre on Saturday afternoon. Tickets for the game cost 50 emalangeni. Reporting for your Saturday TV Sports, I'm Linda Lamini, Mbabane. That is all we had for tonight, but before we wrap up, we'll take a recap of today's headlines. Their Royal Highness was a Mazignani led young maidens who formed the Galangolo Jenny Regiment in cutting the reed at Manzana Reed Bed. Private sector owners say if paid on time, they could improve their service delivery to farmers. Ghanaian legend Asamoa Gianni has arrived in the country alongside other African legends to take part in a friendly game between Aswatini legends and African legends. That brings us to the end of our news bulletin tonight. Up next is the weather forecast for selected towns. Good night, Aswatini.